India will conduct a tri-service exercise in Mechuka this month, to strengthen joint warfighting and technological integration among the three services. Noida based on New Vyom Alliance has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Headquarters Integrated Defence Staff, to jointly develop low-altitude long-endurance drones. The Indian Navy will induct the third indigenous large survey vessel on 6 November, built by Garden Reach shipbuilders with over 80% indigenous content. Indonesia's Ministry of Defense has dismissed reports that it has finalized a $9 billion deal to purchase Chinese J-10C fighters, and clarified that evaluations of various fighter options are still underway. After Finance Ministry and National Security Council Secretariat reviews, the 20,000 crore rupees DRDO Safran 120 kN engine program is expected to be cleared by the Cabinet Committee on Security by end of this year. The Indian Navy is evaluating the short takeoff and landing variant of the MQ 9B Predator drone for operations from INS Vikrant and INS Vikram Aditya. It has folding wings and a reinforced engine, enabling takeoff within 150 meters, making it ideal for carrier decks. After successful scale trials demonstrated Mach 8 projectile launches with stable energy discharge and precision, the RDO's electromagnetic railgun program is set for Ministry of Defense funding. A new center for electromagnetic launch technology in Pune will spearhead full-scale prototype development by 2028, that will be integrated on Project 18 destroyers and carriers. The Society of Indian Defence Manufacturers has urged the Indian government to launch a national programme for developing an indigenous 110 kN jet engine through private sector leadership in collaboration with gas turbine research establishment, and phased milestones for prototype and production within five years, that will run parallel to the DRDO Safran joint project for a 120 kN jet engine. The DRDO developed active protection system for the Arjun main battle tank, achieved over 90% neutralization against RPG and ATGM simulants during trials in POC run, and vehicle level testing on the Arjun Mark 1A is planned for 2026. Brahmo's Aerospace has accelerated development of the air launch variant of 800 km range Brahmo's LR missile, featuring lighter composite airframe materials improved ramjet efficiency, and enhanced radar absorbent coatings for deeper precision strikes. While 800 km range has already been validated in surface launch tests, the air launch LR version remains in advanced development, with flight trials planned to establish India's next generation long-range standoff strike capability in the coming years. The Ministry of Defence resists bypassing the MRFA tender, insisting on deeper transfer of technology and higher localization, while Dassault Aviation wants a government-to-government -government deal to keep technology transfer levels insanely low to protect intellectual property. France had committed 50% offsets in the 36 Rafale deal, but completed less than 40% of those obligations within stipulated timeline and it has now offered 60% localization under the G2G deal, while the Ministry of Defense demands higher indigenization. Complicating the equation, Russia has presented a much more attractive offer, pitching the Su-57 with up to 80% technology transfer, integration of Indian weapons, and local production at Hindustan Aeronautics with export rights, and this proposal significantly outpaces the French offer. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, dropped it.